Hey vlog! So before we get into the Flingo Crossing slash apartment tour part of the video, I just wanted to hop on and say that I made a Disney College program Instagram. It's called Putting the Al in Magical, I believe. I recommend you all go to follow it. I've been posting pretty much every day on it. Pretty good, pretty good. So there'll be updates on the YouTube videos on there and they'll just be general updates about my life. So yeah, with that being said, follow the Instagram and let's get on to the rest of the video. <laughs> Hello, hello vlog. Welcome back to another video. So today I have the apartment to myself this morning. So I thought I would take you on a little apartment tour and kind of show you my little area, my space, my humble abode that is my apartment here at Flamingo Crossings. Then I'll take you on a general tour of Flamingo Car Crossing, even though I don't know if I'm really qualified for this since I haven't even explored half the places we're gonna go in this video. So that'll be kind of fun. And I promise this is the last of like the my introduction to the Disney College program videos. We'll go to the park soon, don't even worry about it. So yeah, let me show you around my apartment and um, let's get started. So this is what it looks like when you enter my apartment. We need to take out the trash, so just ignore that right now. But if you turn to your right, this is my area and then that's where my roommates live. So. Right here we have our fridge, which has some fun magnets on it. And then the fridge is honestly pretty big. We have a lot of stuff in here right now. There's my ranch dressing. I love ranch dressing. Then here is the freezer. Not very exciting. And then these four cabinets we have split amongst the four of us. So this one's mine. I did not organize it for you guys, so I'm sorry about that. Here is our stove. And then we have an oven as well. And then we just have some different Show, or uh, so different cabinets and each of them have just like that one these two have like silverware in them then just our pots and pans and stuff like that then we have our microwave and then i kind of have these two shelves so this is where all my tupperware and stuff goes for work like my thermos and then i have my tea and my bottles up there and we have our dishes area currently in the middle of doing dishes so there's some dishes in the sink and then as for just the general living space We've kind of decorated it a little bit. We have this fun little gnome, and then this target dog that I won at um, one of the events at Flamingo Crossing. So here it is, we have this little table and these chairs, and then the TV area, so we have our TV, and then we have these fun little 50th popcorn buckets, Grogu, and then if you look out the window, we just have like a view of like another building. It's not very exciting. So yeah, that's kind of all for, oh, and then we have our in-unit laundry machine. So that's really fun, love that. It's just super slow compared to the ones that I had like at my university. So now let's go to like my area. So this is my bathroom, my side of the bathroom. I have my makeup stuff just sitting out. I have this fun little, what is that called? This fun little like holder that has all my clips in it. Have my sink, the soap that I'm using right now is the rose water and ivy scent from Bath and Body Works. If you open this, there's just some of my different hair products and stuff like that. And then these two cabinets are just full of that type of stuff. There's my band-aids and medical stuff. I have this fun rug that I got from Target. Then I have my bath towels are all yellow, of course. Then in the medicine cabinet, just have some random stuff right now. Amazing. So now if we go this way, this is the bathroom area. We have the toilet, obviously. A bathtub, which is amazing. Um, and then this is my area. So I just have all my bath products and stuff here. There's a shower head. The pressure is okay if people care. And then this area right here, we just have all the toilet paper and then just some random stuff hanging out. And then now, if we go in here, this is the bedroom. Right to your right, I have all my pins. These are basically the same thing as my one in Utah, except my cast member pin. And then I also got this 50th one. Yeah, isn't that fun? Then you come down, I have just my schedule for the week. Today, it's Friday, so I don't start till 5 p.m., which is amazing. And then I have this picture of me and my friend Elizabeth at that Target event I was talking about. And then, just this I got at Traditions. Then I have my shoes, my gorgeous, gorgeous work shoes are right here. How cute is that? 
Can't wait to put those on in a few minutes. And then I have my tapestries on the left, which are just pretty much the same ones from Utah. Um, yeah, so those are them. And then right here, this is my area. So I have a three or four drawer wardrobe, which I just have my corgi calendar, which it is definitely not Tuesday the first, so I need to change that. The diffuser is here, this little thing that says things in it, and it has some things in there, isn't that fun? And then I have my jewelry holder, these very fun sunglasses, this hand sanitizer that is also a lotion, which is crazy. I have my little dinosaur playing the alto saxophone, of course, and then I have Yoda wearing some Mickey Mouse ears. Because we're at Disney World, obviously. All right, and then this is the bed area. I honestly am so happy with how this turned out. I think it looks so cute. So here she is. I went for like a green moment. So we have the green throw. And then my bedding has just these little green plants on it, which is super cute. Then all along the side of the bed, I have just the twinkle lights. And then Benny made it. Terry is here as well. Then this is Duffy. He's a little Disney stuffed animal, which I've had for years. And then, yeah, we just have some throw pillows. And then all along here, I just have different Polaroid pictures, which are pretty fun. And then right here, I have a picture of me and Jenna, and then a picture of me and Emma. And then I have my little Stitch dude hanging out with this light. I never use this light, but there it is. Then this area right here, I have this really fun dinosaur lamp. I have just a gold A, this picture of my family, this little fake plant, which is weird because it has like water at the bottom of it. Not sure why. Then I have another fake plant with this little gnome dude. Isn't that fun? So he just sits there. This little jug thing. This little dish that just has all of my lights in it. Yeah! Woo! Wasn't that fun? Why is this not turning off? Stop. Wasn't that fun? Continuing on, just have all of my books down here and some of my camera stuff. My little seagull dude, which is the same thing I have in Utah, except he has a yellow nose and this guy has a green nose. Isn't that a fun parallel? Then right here we have my little corgi friend. Then these are just full of miscellaneous items. And then I have my little trash can. Then these are the closets, which are way bigger than the ones that I had back at school. So that's amazing. I just have all my paper towels up there, just some random stuff like my switch and I have some games. Then all of my clothes. I have this bin full of shoes, my work bag, my drying rack, of course. And then on this side, I just have some jackets, all of my work clothes, and then some sweatshirts. And then just some more miscellaneous stuff and my dirty laundry. And then last but not least, I have my three little dinosaur hooks. This one's just wearing some Minnie Mouse ears. This one has all of my lanyards on it, which I picked up this lanyard today, which is so cute. It has Wheezy from Toy Story on it. Love that. And then this last one just has this Mickey Mouse baseball hat and my umbrella on it. So that is about everything for my apartment. Now we are going to go and wander around a Flamingo Crossing and check out some fun places here so you guys can understand the area if you're thinking of doing the Disney College program. So let's go check it out. Hey vlog. So it's a few days later. I have like two hours before I go to work. So I thought I would go on the walking tour of Flamingo Crossing with y'all right now. So a few things to know about Flamingo Crossing is that there are five neighborhoods inside of it. Golf cart's gonna run me over in a second. And that's kind of how the buildings are laid out. There's about four-ish buildings in each neighborhood probably, making there be a total of 20 buildings in this whole community. But you'd be silly to think that that's all this community has. No, no, no. There also is a big lawn area. There's a ton of little grill spots all around this development. There's a hammock, very fun hammock. Yay. And then there is the whole pool area, which has like these big screens and they'd host like movie nights every week or so. And then there's the whole center area, which has um, Apprentice Hall, which is where all of our meetings and more like formal Disney stuff, classes and stuff like that are held, which I wasn't able to vlog inside there because it just seems kind of office -y, so I didn't want to come in and vlog and then there is the I forget what the building's called Great Hall maybe that is a building that has all of the like hangout places there's a gym in there there's the game room and yeah this is a fun place to go and hang out in 
that's where we are walking to right now because I have not yet filmed in there. And then I just walked past ones that reminded me. So in some of the buildings, they have mail rooms where you can pick up literally just letter mail. And then the rest of your mail, like packages and stuff, go into the parcel pickup room, which is up ahead. I don't think I'll vlog in there because it's kind of always like chaotic because people are trying to get their packages, but it's your standard parcel pickup room. And then to my right up here, this right here is the ride share area. So if you are taking an Uber somewhere or a Lyft or someone's just coming to pick you up, that's where they'll pick you up from. inclusive tour of everything there is at Flamingo Crossing. Um, so far, I really like living here. It's a very fun time. But yeah, so with that being said, the growth that my channel is experiencing right now is literally insane. So thank you guys so much for all the support. The road to 1K, we are less than 100 away, which is insanity. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I made a DCP Instagram. So if you'd like to follow that, follow putting the owl and magical on instagram so yeah with all that being said thank you so much for watching and as always go goots